Hey guys, so today I'm going to walk you through how to create those cute Instagram story highlight covers that you've probably already seen around. So I'm inside Canva right now and in order to create a new design, we're just going to click on create a design. In case you haven't heard of Canva yet, it's a graphic design platform. It's completely free to use. It's absolutely awesome. I use it for everything these days for my social media posts, for my pins, for any proposals I send out and um, they have tons of great tutorials. So if you're kind of new to design and you want to create your own stuff, then I definitely recommend checking out Canva. So it's just canva.com. So back to the story highlights. So we're going to choose Instagram post as a design right now. And the first thing we're going to do is pick the color of our background. So right now this is just a white square. So first we're going to go over to elements on the left here. We're going to go to shapes and then we're just going to add a square. Now you can just make this bigger and then on the top left here you can actually change the color. So they have a few colors here but if you just click that plus then you can actually um, pretty much pick any color you want, right? So I want to make sure that I'm using my brand colors. So you can actually type in the exact code in here or just, you know, roughly wing it. Um, let's go with this. So next we're going to go back to elements and now it's time to add the icon. So we're going to click on icons and Canva will basically display you with tons and tons of free icons. There's also paid ones um, if you don't like any of the free ones you have here, but you should be able to find one that you love. You can also search for icons. So this story highlight that I'm going to create, it's about a celebration. So I'm actually going to look for some champagne glasses. So I'm just typing in champagne and I'm going to go to illustrations here and then I'm just going to pick one. Now, first thing, we're going to make this a little bit smaller and drag it into the middle. So you'll see where those two lines intersect. That's the middle. And then on the top here, I want to make sure they stand out more. So I'm just changing those light gray colors to a darker gray. And that's it. So if I wanted to create a second one, then I would simply click on this little duplicate icon on the right here. And then I can simply go and change the icon. So maybe the next one I want to do is like a photo related one. Oh, sorry. Okay. And again, I can pick from any of these. Make it bigger. So it's roughly the same size as my first icon. I'll delete this other one. Drag it into the middle. And then I can change the color and just make sure I'm staying consistent. So you can create as many as you like in here and um, you can title your design. So what, it just makes it easier when you're back in your Canva home to find your design. So we're going to call this story highlights and then I'm going to download them. So I generally like to download my files as JPEGs. Now you can download all of the pages or if you just wanted to download a single one then you would just type in whichever one it is. So right now we're going to download all of them and that's it from Canva. So right now the only thing I'm going to do is send myself these covers so I have I can access them on my phone because obviously when uploading the Instagram story highlights I have to do that from my phone. So next, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-steps to 
actually uploading your story highlight and then the cover as well. All right, you guys, so I'm back on Instagram and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to upload your Instagram story highlights. So first thing we're gonna go is to my profile. Now you can see I have a few highlights saved here, but none of them actually have a cover photo. So right now, first of all, I'm gonna show you how to add a new highlight to your story. So you're gonna click on the plus where it says new, and then Instagram actually archives all of your old stories which is awesome so you can go back and highlight one of your previous stories you don't always have to do them while they're still live now I'm actually going to highlight a story I'm I uploaded today so you want to start by uploading the very first one now this is if you're uploading if your story is like separated into multiple little videos or photos you just want to make sure you know which one is the first one so all you're going to do is tap on the photos or the videos you want to include and then just click next. Now you might have noticed I don't actually have my cover photo uploaded to my story yet so I wasn't able to select it. So first we're going to give this a name so we're going to call this one celebration and then we're gonna add it. Now, as you can see, it already has appeared in my story highlights, but I still wanna add the cover. So in order to do that, I actually have to add the cover to my story first. So we're gonna go back home and I'm gonna upload it as a new photo. So I just select the one I'd like to choose. And here you can make it smaller or bigger so in case you're noticing, oh, actually my icon looks really big, then you can edit it in here. And then I'm just gonna send it to my story. And then I'm gonna go back, click on the story I wanna edit the, the cover. And then on the bottom right here, where it says more, I can go there, I can go edit highlight, and then I would select edit cover. Oh, sorry, I actually have to add that last story first before I can add the cover. So I'm just gonna click on that one, select done, and then I have to go more, edit highlight, edit cover, and then I can select and then you can drag and drop it around make sure it's in the middle and just select done and that's it so now ta-da! there's my little cover now I'm obviously going to go and change all of these other story highlights as well and make sure I am consistent with the covers that I upload now I'm going to have to actually upload those cover photos to my story in order to be able to edit the covers but the good thing is I can always upload them and then go back and delete them so I'm just going to quickly walk you through this I'm going to go upload the second one which was the little camera maybe make it a little smaller and then share it now I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit the LA Workshop one, click on more, edit highlight. Then I'm going to have to select archive in order to add this last story. Select done. Again, edit highlight, edit cover, and then I can select my cover photo. Oops. And select done. So there we are. There's two up already and now I just have three to go. So I'm going to go back to Canva, create my covers and then come back and upload them. So I hope this wasn't too complicated for you. I think you just kind of have to go through it once, 
follow the steps and then you should be good to go. Can't wait to see your cover photos and happy posting.